What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys the best cards to use in the new So Fresh So Clean event part number one. Drop a like if you guys are excited man. If you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so. We're on a road to 1900 subs man so if you guys don't see that number at 1900 yet please be the cool guy or girl that helps us get that much closer. I really appreciate it. But before we get into today's video you guys know we got to give today's comment shout out. And today's comment shout outs, there's two of them. One for the funniest slash dumbest yo mama joke. And the other one for, for the person who was the first person to comment. Now, shout out to my boy Jay Cruz. Your comments on screen, bro. He was the very first person to comment on yesterday's video. And he got the first comment shout out. And then the second person with this dumbest, 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 what? The dumbest and the most funniest um, yo mama joke goes to my boy Michael Primo or Primo. Um, shout out to you, bro. Freaking hilarious joke. The joke reads as follows. Your mom is so stupid. When she threw a rock at the ground, she missed. I don't know why I found that so funny, but when you just physically, I mean, excuse me, when you just mentally think about it, like think about someone getting a rock and throwing it at the ground and then missing. I don't know, man. That, that was just the funniest one to me. But let's run it back then. Let's do Yo Mama Jokes Part 2. Let's see what you guys can come up with. Something stupid like that. Something funny like that. I mean, Yo Mama Jokes. Just type it in on freaking Google. Go through the funniest ones and see which one you think is funny. Comment comment it down below. And if your guys' is the funniest one, I will shout you guys out in the next video. As long as we're the first person to comment. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into today's video. The So Fresh, So Clean 1 event. The best players to use. First of all, let's go over the event. So it says ends. Let me get it off the screen. Ends August 3rd at 11 a.m. So that's one week from today, guys. One week from today we have to play this event. Rules are the 42 series, milestone series, prime series, and second half heroes or silver to common players. Max team overall is a 93 overall. You got to keep this in mind. A lot of the events prior were always max team 99 overall. So you can use any card you want. But in this in this one, there's some restrictions. Uh, three any games on all-star and obviously there's free entries. Let's go through the rewards reward, ugh, the rewards real quick. There was a double R right there. I was tripping. So this, you guys see what we're working with. Some show packs, headliners, more show packs, headliner pack. We do get this dope bat skin C deaths. Trident powers from the death is a C. Uh, we get a ball, three balling packs. That's nice. We get some uh, jerseys. Now, you guys know these event jerseys go for a lot of stubs sometimes. If you guys peeped yesterday's video, you guys know. At 25 wins, we get the Prime Series Jake McGee. If you guys don't know, this card is filthy. He's a must-have in the bullpen. Four-seam slider, curveball, 92 velo, 90 break, and he's a left-handed pitcher. Very, very good. 27, we get this uh, bat skin. 30, we get a 10-pack. We get these pirate jerseys at 35 wins, which are really, really nice. And guys, I think they're trying to tell us something with this card. The Ralph Kiner, what is it? What is it? 50 home run club. There it is. I think they're trying to like point in the direction that Hank Aaron is coming. Hank Aaron is coming his 99 card because obviously Hank Aaron is going to have that 750 something home run, home run, home run milestone card. That card is going to be amazing. But this is the Ralph Kiner. You guys see the stats freaking disgusting, man. Hitting stats are off the charts. Fielding is suspect, though. Not going to lie. He could just be a bench bat um, just because of that fielding. Looking really nice, though. 45, we get a balling, uh, balling bundle. And at 50, we get a kitchen sink pack. So let's get right into the best players to use. I already dra drafted my team, so I'm going to go over. First, I'm going to state three players that you guys must have in your lineup. And I mean must. These are locked players. One of them being the 42 series, Pedro Martinez. Very solid pitcher. Will get the job done. Beautiful repertoire. You guys have to have this guy in your lineup. Pedro Martinez is lock number one. Lock number two is the 99 Mariano Rivera. Now, if you guys don't have the 99... Throw the 42 series one in it. That's a lock, man. Mariano's an amazing pitcher. Beautiful to bring him in to close out the game, especially if you guys have the 99. But like I said, if you don't, just throw in the 42. He'll do just as good. And finally, depending on what you guys have, I have them both. Now, if you guys have them both, you guys got to make the decision for yourself. But if you guys have Posada, use Posada. If you guys have Gary Sanchez, use Gary Sanchez. Now, I don't know if that, that Battle Royale Posada, could we use him in this event? I don't think so. Because he's an award series card and we can't use award series cards. So yeah, we can't use them. Never mind. So this Posada card, like I said, if you guys have him, switch hitting catcher. He has a very glitchy swing. Solid power against both sides. Not the best though. The context better. But last year's card was amazing. And I've heard very good things about this card this year. But if you guys don't have him, Gary Sanchez is just amazing, man. Amazing. You guys see his hitting stats. Freaking crazy. Those three players are locks though. Like I said, one of these two. 
Mariano, and then Pedro. So everyone else, guys, I'm going to just show you guys the best cards to use, obviously. So I'm using the Royals, Walt, Tom Glavin, John Lester, Pedro, and then I threw Paxton in there. Remember, guys, keep in mind, there's a max team overall, so you can't just have all 97, 98 players on your team. So it makes it a little more difficult. You got to mix in some lower tier players. My lower tier player was a uh, 78 James Paxton, just because I love Paxton's card. His windup is nice. His repertoire is always nice. Um, some other good notable mentions, um, Cliff Lee. Um, a lot of people do say he's BP, but he's a solid option. Another solid option I could miss out. Now, Dustin May, his repertoire is nasty, but his hits per nine are really low. So that means he's probably me giving up a lot of hits. Um, another good solid option. Let me see. Anyone down here? No, honestly. Okay. These top now cards probably might be a good option. Taiwan Walker. Oh, Taiwan Walker could be nice too. 91 hits per nine. Nice repertoire. Take a look at him. But not too many options when it comes to freaking starting pitchers. I laid it all out for you. I have Roy, Tom Glavin, Pedro, John Lester, and then Paxton for me. Relief, relief pitchers, I took the Darren O'Day. Now, if you guys don't have this prime Darren O'Day, he has his live series card, which is right here. Coming up very, very soon. Very, very soon. Where is it at? Or is it in closing pitchers? There, it's in closing pictures. The Darren O'Day 76. If you guys don't have the prime one, throw the 76 one in because he has a he has if you guys know Darren O'Day, he's a submarine pitcher. Throws under it's weird, man. Just you gotta have him on the team. I got Chris Martin as well because his repertoire is really nice. His uh his per nine are really nice. So I think Chris Martin is another good option in the bullpen from the relief pitchers. And I think the last relief pitcher I have is let me see. I think yeah, is my boy Tim Hill. Now, if you guys don't know Tim Hill, he has a funky windup in the game sinker four seam slider he's very very effective especially to both sides man both sides is very effective i think you got to have tim hill in your bullpen i think that's just me though if you guys don't like him then by all means switch him with someone else but i think he's a lock now for closing pitchers i got mariano zach Britton. if you guys have him uh yuri's familia if you guys have him um arolas chapman you guys gotta have chapman in chapman is just nasty to face a lot of people hate facing them including me so you gotta have chapman um, Deekman, I mean, this freaking silver card. Look at his hits per night, bro. Like, my goodness. Four seam slider sinker. Very funky windup as well. You got to have Deekman. Brad Hatton is also a solid option, especially because he's playing up. Slider four seam sinker as well. Um, what's well, another solid option I don't have right here? Or do I have right here? No, that's it. That's it, in my opinion. So, you guys see, I I'm leaving out John Franco, but John Franco, honestly, is really nice too. He does have a screwball sinker slider circle change. Very, very good pitcher if you guys have him. Now, for the catchers, like I said, Posada or Gary Sanchez, those are the top two. If you guys don't, then go Salvador Perez. But by this time, you should have at least Gary Sanchez because that's Team Affinity Season 2. First baseman, Jim Tomey's got to be your starting first baseman. He's literally the best first baseman in this list right here. Has freaking maxed out power against righties, almost maxed out contact. No brainer. Jim Tomey's got to be your only first baseman you have. Moving on to second base. Now, if you guys have Jackie, Jackie should be your second baseman. Um, but if you guys don't, you guys don't, you guys could use the 42 series one. Brian Roberts and Kavan Biggio are also solid options at second base. Um, Mustakis is solid as well, but more than likely you guys have a better card than that. Third base, I'm going Pablo because I'm really trying to prestige this card, excuse me, um, parallel up this card. So Pablo is my option, but um, I know Sano's nice, but he doesn't have high contact. But you are playing on All-Star and his defense is kind of garbage. So it's up to you, man. Cabrian Hayes is another solid option as well, but I'd go Sandoval if you guys have him shortstop guys i'm using nico goodrum because if you guys know this card this card is a glitch he is very very good solid defense he can play literally anywhere i have him at short in his primary position but you literally can play him anywhere nico goodrum he's got to be on your squad um willie adamas is also solid as well he has nice power against both sides uh high contact against righties boba Shett's always been a solid option I do have Mondesi on my bench for pinch running purposes because he has a 98 speed, 99 stealing, and 98 base running aggression. So I have him on my bench. Moving to the outfield, a lot of people are probably going to be using the Soriano if, if you have him. I don't like that Soriano card, so I'm not going to have him on my team. I have Babe Ruth starting over him. Um, Babe Ruth and Jordan, you guys want to have them on your team, whether it's on your bench or starting. They're just very, very scary to face, especially when it's like... The game is really close. You don't want to be facing these two because they could just hit the ball like 450 like nothing. Like they're scary. Dom Smith is also another solid option too. Um, obviously, come on now. How can we not mention Stanton? Stanton's card's amazing. Contact is kind of low, but a good bench bat as well. But I don't have him. 
Moving on to center field, I have Steve Finley. A lot of people are probably going to have Steve Finley. If not Steve Finley, they're going to have Doby or Willie Mays um, or Trent Grissom. I heard this card is very, very glitchy. A lot of people tell me this. I don't really like his card, but a lot of people tell me this card is very, very glitchy. So, And his freaking fielding is off the chart. So Trent Grissom is also a solid option. Ken Griffey, how could you not mention him? But um, from this, I'm only using Steve Finley. And then right field, guys, I have Bichette on the bench. And I'm starting Billy Williams. I really like Billy Williams' swing in this game. It feels so nice. And I cannot wait to do well with him in an event and parallel this card up. But um, Bichette, Williams are solid options. Hank Aaron, obviously, as well. Joey Gallo as a bench bat if you like Joey Gallo's swing. He has very, very low contact but high power. And um, the final card I believe you guys should have is J.D. Martinez. You guys have this second half card, man. You guys got to have him just for bench pa uh, bench um bench bat purposes because just look at his stats man 80 contact against both over 115 power against both sides freaking disgusting man freaking disgusting but that pretty much does it guys those are the best players to use for the so fresh so clean part one event remember guys we have one week to complete this this is part one though we're probably gonna be having a part two and a part three i assume i could be wrong but we'll see what happens man so those are the best cards to use i'm not gonna recap it because it's a lot of cards but hopefully you guys take my considerations into your own considerations to use these cards because i've laid out some solid solid cards and I'm, some of them could be self-explanatory but some people need this and i feel like these videos help you guys out it helps me out too so i know mentally what cards i should be choosing every time i hop into the event but yeah guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like if you guys did and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy jesse d123 and i'm out